everybody, it's Margaret, and today I'm bringing you another, what do we call this thing? I can't even remember. <laughs> Hitting the reset button, that's what it is. <laughs> so hey, can you guess where I am now? Totally different backdrop. I have finally finished the workroom, finished-ish, but for the most part. So in a little bit, I'll give you a tour around the workroom. And now I have a place to put all my collectible, like all my little treasures right that I find or that some some of these things are things my friends have sent me so I'll show you I'll show you so here I've got my hot dog that's what Tanya gave me and Dwayne sent me the uh, the <laughs> this Twilight guy uh, what's his name Jacob and it says who's afraid of the big bad wolf so I thought I'd put Beaker there because he's he is and then some of my Harry Potter stuff some of my Doctor Who stuff what else have we got uh oh some more Twilight stuff. There's Jane from Firefly. That's my son's, um, you know, how, at Thanksgiving they do this thing where it's like, hi, uh, how would the turkey hide, you know, or disguise himself so the turkey doesn't get eaten? And James wanted to make the turkey a Dalek. So here's his turkey Dalek. And there's Groucho. And Groucho's got on, uh, can you see, this is the uh, Mocking Jay and then my Time Turner and some of my little music boxes. So yay. Okay, let me say hey, everybody. So, hey, Maggie, how's it going? And hey, Sarah. And hey, Chad, what's going on? Hello, Cherie's Entourage. And for sale to sold. Hello. Thanks so much. I know this is very impromptu. Again, um, I, I tr I'm trying to aim for 1 o'clock, but I was so determined to get this room done so I could show you the room. So I'm going to show you. in the. Should I just show you now? I was going to wait. Maybe I'll just show you now. Okay, I'll do it since we're talking about it. I'm going to have to unplug you from this and from this. Okay, you're going on the tour with me. Ready? So this is the table behind me. It might be bouncy for a second, hang on. So there's the table behind me. This is my army field desk. Oops, cleavage, sorry. <laughs> um, that I'm using to sit on. And then I have a big table over here. And under there are lots, not that, that's what I have my computer on. Under there, those are tubs to go to FBA. Because I found tons of stuff that I've thrifted for FBA. There's that big kiss stand up. I ought to stand him up back there, right? And then coming over here, these are all the games and stuff. Oh my gosh. Don't shame me. Don't shame me. So I had them spread out all over the room. Um, all these board games that once I get this, these things down there are like ready to go to Amazon. So those are first priority, scan them, get them sent in. Second priority is to check all these games for pieces and get them sent in. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and then over here are some of my things um, that are listed, a few things that are not, and then down at the bottom are Legos. And then over here, these are my, this is my jewelry stuff that's listed. Oh boy. <laughs> And then this is more stuff that's sorted out by like media, toys. So when I'm ready to list, I just grab the tub and go. And then this is uh, on this wall. This is my grandmother's stuff, some more of her stuff. And then, yeah, some more of her stuff down there. Down, way down there. So that's it. I did it. And I can walk. I vacuumed in here today and everything. Fancy, right? Fancy schmancy. Okay, let me get you plugged back in. Okay. All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see who said what in the. Hello, Gulf Winds. Hello, Diana and Justin. Hello, Chel. Oh, I think I've had problems with your name before. I'm sorry. Ches Chelsea and Greg. Thank you, Sharice Entourage, Margaret. That is what you. That is that is your wall of games. <laughs> yeah, wall of shame. My wall of games. Kiss. Oh, he, the kiss is folded up down there. See, it folds up. Cool, right? All right, gotta plug you back in. There you go. So kiss is down there, folded up. One more plug. Hang on. But I'm so excited. Now I can actually work in here. But it took, wait, hang on. It took some doing, y'all. It took some doing. So we got it all squared away. And now, because I get so, I'm not jealous, but I see everybody else with their, their cool stuff that they collect behind them. I'm like, yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have my own room with my own stuff and can work in here now. So I'm excited about the big table over here because it bumps up against the window so I can pop normally I take pictures at the kitchen table and I pop the big white tent up there but now I can do it here yay all right 
<laughs> All right, so let me get down to business. I have my notes, my notes again, of course. So business. Um, so I still haven't been listing, um, but I, oh, sorry, hang on. Oh, I love you guys, but I have to pause you, <laughs> mute you. All right, yes, yes, so you gotta get your own eBay room. I'm gonna be able to get so much more done. You're so right, you're so right. Thanks so much, you guys. Okay, so as far as my business, has been going. I have not done any listings still. I did activate my store like I told you guys and what I've been doing is pretty much accepting most offers. So um, unless they're just ridiculous, you know. But somebody mentioned that in the group, you know, do, if you start accepting offers, does it bump you up in Cassini or something like that? And I don't know if it's true or not, but I do know that I started getting three or four a day, which is pretty impressive, I think, for not um, for not listing, you know. So my sales are okay; they'll be okay. And then, yeah, we had okay. I talked about that. Is that all I had to talk about about business? I hope you guys are doing well, Joni. Hello, hello. Um, pardon me. I hear. I mean, some friends say they're they're having great weeks. Some friends are saying it's kind of patchy or pants, if you will. If you're from the UK, it's been pants. Somebody's gonna have to explain that one to me. Ken could not. Uh, he said that sometimes the sales, some of his sales have been kind of pants, and so that means that it's not not good. And I was like, how does that mean not good? <laughs> so if you know, I want to know because I like to connect the dots. Does it mean like your pants are down and so you can't run and that's not good? And so your sales are pants because they're I don't know. Anyway, if you don't tell me, I'll make something up. <laughs> okay, so the second thing we were talking about was the. Uh, last week I talked a lot about health and wellness and about how, you know, seeing myself on some of the videos from some of my green room friends that I was, you know, oh, you know, I can do my videos and you only see this part. But when I see myself in other videos, it's a bit, you know, it's a, like a reality check. So I may, I'm really good at making plans. But apparently, I'm not very good at following through on these plans because I did get my uh, let's see my this where I schedule out and I write in you know get on the elliptical or do my workout. But guess what? I don't do it. <laughs> Even though I write it down. Um, I have been wearing my Fitbit more, and yesterday I almost made my 10,000 steps, so that's good. And then some girlfriends and I, actually some girls from the green room, um, got created a. Um, little group to, to try to uh, motivate each other I guess so that's where we're going with that let me get my notes so yeah basically you having somebody that you're accountable to for um, for things you know and so I'm thinking like I did before doing like a weekly challenge you know whether you want to join in or not but maybe for myself like okay this week I really want to focus on being more active because as a reseller it's really easy to just sit, you know, and list or sit and, you know, do your shipping or sit and take your pictures or if you're a YouTuber, sit and edit your your videos, you know, and so you're sitting a lot. So my challenge for myself this week is going to be to be more active. And so that's going to be, you know, between 20 and 40 minutes a day is my goal to whether it's two 20 minute chunks or whatever. Trying to get more active. So anyway, Chase spoke me. I know, right, Joni? We were talking about this. But you know, it's Texas, and it's like 3 million degrees, even at, <laughs> at 9 o'clock at night. But you know what? I just said this to Randy. I was like, you know what? We're just going to have to say forget the heat and just go out, right? You can't just stay inside because it's a million degrees outside. Okay, yeah. That was Randy. Did you hear him? He says, I go out. Good job, Randy. We're proud of you. <laughs> Okay, so I was thinking if you guys are in, in like interested, like maybe we could do, I don't know if you're on Instagram. Are you on Instagram? Like we could do like an Instagram challenge, you know, or something like that. And we'll have like a hashtag, whatever. So let me know. And then maybe next week we can <laughs> implement something like that, like a like an Instagram challenge. Sorry, I'm sweating. Hot. Anyway, okay, let me say hey to people again because I like to. Hey, Darrell, how's it going? Your sales are really slow, too. Hey, Virginia, they're slow. I think it's just that time of year, but right, you got to just keep listing. That's a good strategy. Jilly Bean, thank you so much. And, yeah, Sherry's on charge says her sales are down. I'm sure it will because, we're, you know, we're going to be punching into to Q4 pretty soon. And, the, you know, back to school stuff, and then it just starts 
snowballing. Thanks, tech boy. Let's see, Louise, hello. Uh, nobody's using Avery. That's what I was thinking. Like, everybody's out chasing Pokemon. But that is something I did do while I was cleaning up around here. All of my Pokemon stuff that I came across, because I had some games and puzzles and stuff, I put them out into the living room. So I am going to list those for sure. They're ready. Um, See, okay, that uh, maybe we have to do it at night, but I don't want to do it at night. I'm so I hear like scary stories, and I'm so paranoid. Um, I can't tell if that's a cat. Oh, I see thumbs up for the Instagram challenge. Okay, cool. Um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out what the hashtag would be, or if you're in the in the chat, then like say we could do hashtag this. This is my <laughs> this is my uh, hand signal for hashtag, even though it looks more like I'm doing the the thing from Greece, right? It's that. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so we'll figure out what the hashtag will be. And then next week we'll say for sure, hashtag, let's do it. But I'm sure everybody, somebody else is that. Anyway, okay, okay, go on, go on, go on. Okay, number three is home and organizing. I gave you guys the room tour already. Um, hey, Barbara, how are you? <laughs> hey, Liz, how's it going? So home organizing. I showed you guys the room. So that's been great. Gosh, we've probably taken five or six loads to donate um, to the local charity shop, and then their their shed was full yesterday. So we then we took we did take a load to Goodwill. We try not to we try to donate to other places, but this time we were like just get it out of here. Um, we went to the storage locker. I think you guys I've mentioned before we we still have a storage locker for my grandmother's stuff. So we went over there yesterday, and we're just starting to. Go through it. And that's what the load was from this morning, was all from the storage locker. You know, if I'm not listing it or it's not something that our family is going to keep, then it's going to go. So that's that. Um, oh, Kim, you'll see the, the room tour again on the replay if you want. <laughs> Whenever we're done, then it'll take a minute and then YouTube will upload it and then you can just, it's right at the beginning. So you don't have to watch very long. <laughs> okay, and then kitten update. So the kittens are loose now. We have let them out of the room. They have not decided that they like the our our first cats, you know, Luke and Leia. They're still not buddies with them yet. I think they're going to get there, though, but they keep hissing at them. So it's really cute. I should be taking video. <laughs> because there's little bitty kittens, like, hissing at my giant Luke, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'll have to get some video of them trying to figure out if, if they're going to be friends or not. Um, so that's that. That's the kittens. And then the last, this is going to be a short one today, I bet. So the last thing that I like to talk about, the four, four sections, is fun. Um, because last time I talked about, uh, I will, I will. I'll make some kitten videos to upload. Um, the last thing I talked about last time was that I was, I was going through this really f blue phase, like a real big funk, which for me, because usually I'm doing okay, so when I start dipping down, I can really feel it and I have to like pull pull back real hard because I've you know it's not something I talk about a lot but I've gone through some pretty depressed you know rough stages in my life and it's something I don't ever want to repeat so if you have gone through that or, have, or are going through that you know what I'm talking about you know when you get out of it you never want to go back there again so uh, another some of the ways that I was trying to I'm looking at my notes not my lap um, was trying to find ways to increase my happiness and decrease the chance of getting the blues, you know. And so I went out with some girlfriends of mine, which I mentioned in the last one, and I was nervous to go, but then I was super happy I went. And so I made a commitment to myself that I want to start trying to make a, like a once a week get out with, either get out with a friend or have a play date with another family, you know, something where I'm interacting with other people. Because also as a reseller, it's really easy to get, you know, you're closed into your own place and so isolated, you know, and as many of you know, that's why I started doing YouTube because I have nobody to talk to about what I do with reselling. Sorry, I feel like I'm preaching at you now. <laughs> so um, last week I ended up having a play date with a lady from Mikey and then we went um, I went to have dinner with some of my, uh, my, book, my other girlfriends that are actually my other book club, one of my book clubs. Um, she, one of my friends is about to pop. She's like nine months pregnant. So we were having our last hoorah with, the, with dinner. So that was good. Now this week, 
I don't have any plans, but Barbara, who's in the chat, um, I'm going to be coming up to Dallas this coming weekend to see my brother. And I want to try to get together with Barbara because I know she's up there. And she's also one of the admins over in International League of Thrifters with me. So I'm excited to meet her in person. <laughs> Yay. Okay, let's see. La -da 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 -da. Okay, book club. So this is the book club part. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kim. <laughs> All right, so book club part. Um, Maggie, or let me start at the beginning. We started a post in our International League of Thrifters because we were noticing some things were getting kind of negative. So in, in an attempt to bring things to the positive, I shared a link saying, hey, you know, let's, let's talk about books. And the post was really, really popular. So many people are readers or audiobook listeners, and it just really, you know, took off the post. And then Maggie suggested we, we create a book club. So I've been thinking about it, and we talked about it some more. So we're going to start doing a book club on my channel the last Sunday of the month, which is next Sunday. So we'll start next Sunday. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you about the book today that we chose and kind of get the outline of it. Pardon me. And then um, next week, we'll just kind of reiterate it. But we don't have a name. That's the thing, too. So we've got from now until next week to come up with a name for the book club. Um, so if, if you will, you know, either in the chat section or down in the comments after the video goes live, put what um, you, would, you think would be a good name for the book club. Or if you follow me on Facebook, you can go put it over there on the link for this video all the choices you have. You have so many choices. So we need some ideas for what to name the book club because then I was thinking we'll make it like a separate Facebook page for it. And then I know also in Goodreads you can create like communities in there and so we can go in there and kind of follow each other and see what books we're reading. And I don't know, for fun, right? For fun. Um, what else? Okay, so the book we're going to do, which Maggie brought up, but I'm not sure she really wanted, <laughs> really wanted to do. But anyway, it's called Lucky Stuff. And I'm gonna, sh I'll share, I'm gonna share a link, uh, share the screen, because I have it pulled up. Here we go. Pulling it up. So this is um, on Amazon, Lucky Stuff, Jane Wheel Mysteries, which I've never read. And I've only read a couple mysteries, but I'm up for it. This is officially divorced. Antiques picker and private investigator, Jane Wheeler, finally faces the reality that she needs to sell her house, which means clearing out her extensive and beloved antique collection. While it's a daunting task, the preemptive, the preemptive move proves worthwhile when her house sells in one day. Finding herself suddenly homeless, Jane heads to her hometown, Can, whoa, Kankaki? Seriously? Kankaki, Illinois, to find that it too has been turned upside down. Is it a girl book? I have no idea, Mike. <laughs> Who knows? I have never read it. It sounds like a mystery with a female lead. Does that make it a girl book? I don't know. We might read girl books, and we might read boy books, and we might read dog books. Who knows? The future is uncertain. <laughs> so, okay, let's go back over to the chat and see what everyone's saying. Yay, book club. Yay, Jelly Bean. Okay, um, yes, I did. I, well, Maggie, it was your idea, so I felt like I had a, you know, you were suggesting it, and it, it seemed like it fit. We won't always read reseller-related books, but I thought, hey, why not? Sounds fun, light, something good to read. I'm not really into heavy books, so we'll have to see. After we do this one, we'll have to figure out the process for choosing new books, because I don't want to be the book dictator, right? <laughs> That's no fun. That's no fun. Okay. Okay, now here, tell me what you think of this. I'm all for free. So if you're going to get this book, go to the library if you can. And I know a lot of libraries have like an overdrive system where you can join that and get the book for free. But okay, tell me what you think of this because I don't normally do this. If you choose to get the Kindle book or Audible, and Audible has a special deal going on too right now, which I don't think I have it open. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to pull it back up so you can see. Um, Audible has a deal going on right now that um, if you do their 30-day free, free trial, you get two free downloads. So if you want to do that, I have a link down at the bottom where you can click on the Audible trial, and this can be one of your free two books, you know. Um, the Kindle book is $7.99 if you choose to do that. Like I said, 
you know, I'm all for you know, like go to the library or get it through the um, like overdrive. I don't know what your library uses, but mine uses overdrive. And but this is gonna, <laughs> I don't know, tell me what you think. So if you choose to do the Amazon Kindle option or the Audible option, it would help me out if you clicked on the links below um, that I provide uh, because there, there's something called affiliate links and what that is is it doesn't cost you anything extra. It just basically is like a finder's fee. So if you click on it and go get the book from them through my link, then Amazon gives me a finder's fee, which is like, I don't know, 10 cents or something like that. But enough 10 cents rolls together to make a dollar and then I can go to Taco Bell and have a burrito. <laughs> So, I mean, I don't know how you feel about me plugging it that way, but if you choose to buy it, I it would help me out if you click the link and use that. So, and if that really bothers you that I asked, I apologize. I don't normally ask you to click my links down below, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. Okay, I'll stop explaining myself. All right, is that it? That's it. I'm excited. So, let me know, again, what you think the name for the book club ought to be, and then we'll, I don't know how we'll decide. Either we'll have a vote or if one is just like amazingly perfect, then I'll say, oh my gosh, that's perfect. Let's do that one. So, okay, let's see. We have 31 viewers. Thanks so much, 31 viewers. And I am, it's going to be 1 o'clock. So I was aiming for 1 o'clock today, but I really wanted to get the room finished. I was so excited. So that's what I did. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. The book sounds interesting. You're not really a reader. See, I don't have a whole lot of time to read book books anymore, so I do a lot of audio books. I really do. Um, let's see. Oh, thanks, Jilly Bean. <laughs> um, so what's – oh, good a question, Mike. What's involved in the book club? So here's the plan. The plan is that we read the book. <laughs> That's one. And then we'll figure out, like, we're going to have a panel. I don't know who the other people will be yet, and it might rotate. You know, like we'll see once we create the group and we'll see like who's got some good chatter in the group. Um, then maybe I'll just ask like, hey, you know, you've been really active in the group. Would you like to come on this week's panel and talk and, and talk about the book this week? So um, I think that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to be looking at a couple other online book clubs and kind of see how they um, – structure it. Uh, I know our book club at the library, the librarian that hosts it kind of facilitates and she has some questions she asks, um, but pretty much everybody goes around and shares things that they like about it and then they rate it like on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate this book, would you recommend it, that kind of thing. Um, so I think that's how we'll kind of do it. Just um, people who are involved in the group might have a rotating panel. I might actually ask some of my librarian, I have two friends that work at different libraries, that I may ask like, hey, are you interested? Would you like to come be a guest panelist sometimes? Because I'm not a librarian and sometimes they can think of things that I wouldn't think of. I don't know. So yeah, so like it'll be like this format, like a live hangout. And then we'll have um, you know the chat going so everybody can discuss in the chat as well. So that way everyone can be involved and we can look at the chat and people can, you know, if you have things in the chat that you wanted to bring up about the book that maybe we didn't mention or sometimes there are things I don't even think about somebody else notices you know connections and then we can share it that way won't that be fun I think so we'll see how it goes I'm excited and thanks so much Maggie for bringing up the idea in our group in ILOD over there okay so if you are interested for sure make sure you go over to Facebook and um, follow me on Texas Gal Treasures because I will be posting more info there and once we create an, a name I will share it, and I'm going to share a little bit here and there in, in, in International League of Thrifters, but I don't want to do too much of that because that's not what that group is for. But just until we get our page created, then I'll say, hey.
I don't see anything. Are you still there? Am I still there? Is it still connected? <laughs> I think I lost internet connection. Okay, who knows? We'll see. Okay, bye everybody. Go out and have a great week. I don't know which part it cut off on, but I'll talk to you later. Bye.